Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be testing a lithium iron phosphate battery that is supposedly designed to be a cranking battery. Now here I've got my Ford F350 that has a 7.3 liter diesel engine. It's a pretty large engine and has a pretty high draw. This truck is actually equipped with uh, two batteries and you can see them here. Um, let's actually start on this side. So there is one battery and this is the positive cable that runs to the other side. This is the negative cable to the frame. And then over here, the positive cable continues through to this block right here, where it like splices on. We have a little bit of a bad connection there, which is honestly kind of typical for lead acid. I've got my clamp meter set into amps DC on the 600 amp range. Uh, this may exceed the capability of this meter, but we're gonna give it a try. So I've got it set to hold the uh, max. Now, this does DC amps, and depending on whether you put this side or this side around the cable, which direction it is, changes the min and max. Now, it still is gonna record, but it may just be a negative value, which will be our minimum. So I'm not sure exactly which way I'm supposed to put this, but I'm gonna put it around the main cable going to the truck. And you can see right now we've got about three and a half amps and we're holding our max current. So now I'm gonna jump in the truck and run the glow plugs. We'll see what those draw and then I'll crank it over and see if it's within the range of this meter. So let's do a, uh, a test first to see with the lead acid what kind of current it draws. Yep. Two hundred ten. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So this takes quite a bit to crank, and obviously, it's out of the range of our meter. The full on overload. So, uh, we know it's over 600 amps, it's quite a bit. So, now I'm gonna disconnect these batteries and I'm gonna throw in our lithium iron phosphate uh, cranking battery and see what happens when we do this. But I don't have the highest hopes because it takes a lot of current to crank this beast over. All right, so Jarrett's in here, he's gonna do the cranking because this is a little bit sketchy. Let me show you guys what's going on. So, truck is here. Obviously diesel, glow plugs, all that good stuff. So this battery, totally disconnected. As you can see, negative is disconnected. So no circuit for this battery. So first thing, now by the way, this is the battery here. This is the Light Lead S110 lithium iron phosphate, 800 amps cranking, 110 amp hour, and pretty much a drop in. So these posts are uh, the, the old terminals are done for. They're like two, uh, to wallowed out the middle in order to um, bite down properly on these posts. So for the sake of the test, I flipped this one over because they're tapered and it worked just fine. Here on the other side, this one is not the case. It's tightened down, but it's still loose. So real quick, Jarrett, turn the key in there and uh, you can hear nothing's going on here. And uh, when I connect this, when he turns the key, go ahead. You can see glow plugs are running and stuff. So I have to hold this in order to maintain proper connection, but uh, let's go ahead and crank it. This is scary. No way. What? What? Shut it off. I did not think it was gonna do that. Okay, you wanna try one more time? So watch, I'm going to disconnect this and you'll see everything shuts off. So it's all coming from this battery. That is amazing. So honestly, if we were to tighten up this post, we could totally leave this in here and it would work just fine. We don't even need the second battery that this normally has. So um, that's pretty cool. That is really cool. So uh, we're gonna be doing more testing on this battery, but uh, the first question everybody has is, will it start a 7.3 diesel? The answer is yes. I'm impressed. See you guys later, bye. 